In New York City, the word police brutality is on everyone's mind. Just a little over one year ago, 18-year-old Ramarley Graham was shot by police officers in his grandmother's apartment. He was unarmed. 16-year-old Kamani Gray was shot down by police in March, causing a brief period of civil unrest in East Flatbush. A federal court recently declared Bloomberg's policy of stop and frisk, allowing police officers to search people for weapons without any specific justification, as unconstitutional. The NYPD, with jurisdiction in New York City, has offices all across the United States. The NYPD has announced that it has opened an office outside of the United States in Israel. In response to the rising anti-police sentiments, the City Council has passed a police oversight bill. The law would make it easier for citizens to take police officers to court in cases of brutality and racial discrimination. The bill also created an official oversight body to monitor police behavior. Mayor Bloomberg has opposed the bill and is defending the record of the New York City Police Department. People across the country and around the world have come to learn about how the NYPD has been so successful and how we've driven crime down to record lows. We are the poster child that everybody wants to follow. The city council overrode Bloomberg's veto and the oversight bill was passed into law. Charles Barron, a city council member, has become very outspoken in his opposition to Bloomberg's police tactics. Mayor Bloomberg has turned this city into a military fascist police state. Right. Right. We're out right. here to say that we're going to fight it no. tooth and nail. Any one of us that are stopped and frisked, you're stopping and frisking all of us. Hundreds of thousands of people are being stopped and frisked. Not the criminals. They get away. Innocent people. Bill Thompson, one of the many candidates in New York City's upcoming mayoral election, has also spoken out against Bloomberg's policies. Why you've seen this escalation from if you look at 2002 to 2011, where there were 100,000 stop and frisks in 2002, all up to almost 700,000 stop and frisks in 2011, it's the excessive use, the misuse, the abuse of the system. That's what needs to change. Mayor Bloomberg has now sued the city council in an attempt to block the police oversight bill from becoming law. While Bloomberg continues to defend the NYPD, including its controversial stop and frisk practices, as well as its deliberate targeting of Muslims, there is a growing movement to oppose him. Protests against the police department are taking place all across New York City. While courts decide what to do, the anger on the streets is growing. Caleb Maupin, Press TV, New York.